and Goosebeck Farm. We are here to show you how to use cassava as soy sauce. But if you have a large scale of farm, uh, pig farm, you cannot use cassava. It's for medium and the beginners. It's for medium and beginners because if you have 50 pigs, 100 pigs, how can you feed them with cassava? This cassava is a cooked one. We've cooked it, we cooked it, and we use the concentrate feed we mix already to mix it again so that it will not go too fat. So you see how they are enjoying the feed. Yeah, they are enjoying the feed. So this is how we do in our farm for the cassava type or for the cassava method. This is how we used to do it. This pig is seven months now. We give them cassava, mix with the concentrate in the morning, and we give him, them the concentrate in the evening so that there will be no fats and the growing will be permanent. So if you don't have enough money, you can minimize your business, adjust your business with even feed. You can get small concentrate feed. You can get leaves and add it as a beginner. As a beginner. So this one is cassava peel. Cassava peel, because of the sunlight, you can cook it. Like how you are seeing it. You can cook it with a pan, a sauce of pan, big one. Or if you have this one, it's small, you can use it. So if you cook it within a short time, you have... Once it's boiled, the sunlight is finished from it. Once it's boiled, the sunlight is finished from it. You are good to go. Just great work. So this one too is another way of preparing cassava feed. You peel it, put it inside the drum, and soak it with water for some days, three to four days. But this type, I personally don't like it. And all this type of cassava sauce of feed, unless if you are doing it in a large scale, unless you have Gary factory or a place where they use the cassava dough in doing maybe starch or other things so that you can get more for your pigs. But other than that, you cannot do that for about 50 pigs or 100 pigs unless you concentrate solely on the concentrate feed. And at least, yeah. So this is the process. You put it in the water for three days, four days, yeah, this is how it is. But for me, I don't like this type. I will not recommend it for anyone. But the work is tedious. I don't have time to do that. But I just want everybody to know. Because somebody will tell you it's good. So look at how they do it. So after bringing the cassava mixed with the water, the concentrate feed you have made already, you, know, you just fetch it and mix it again. It's so tedious for me, so I don't have that time to do it. You see how he's missing with it? I don't have time for that. So please subscribe for subscribe to our channel. Give us comments. If you see any mistake or anything you want us to do, video about it, put there for us. So this one is the local type in the village. You see how it is done? No. We will do it like this after Granting it, we will put stone at the top, leave it for the water to pour for some days. Maybe one, two days before you start doing it like this. The reason why I do that is for the, you see this one, we have big and small. So you have to grind it like that and get the big and small. And you can dry it like this. You can dry it if only there is sunshine. If there is sunshine, you have to use good, you have to make good use of it. So you can use the sun to dry them. If you can use sun to dry them like this, or more, you can use this one, you can put it down for one year without any problem. Or you can do it like this. If there is a raining season and you can afford to do it like this, then you are good to go. 
you can dry it. The same thing, you put it there, you can leave it for one year without any problem. And the cassava peel, this is the other steps. You wash it, clean it, grind it with the grinding machine. You have to fake them, put them in sacks. Yeah, you have to put them in sacks. And then you use compressor to press them. So this one is not village type. This one is modern one. So you see the sack yellow and the blue ones. They are using the compressor to press it, to squeeze all the water. So look at the water is finished. Very nice. You are good to go. So you just dry them up, put them into sacks. You can store them for more than one year. You don't have any problem. Please, this is Sam Crispy Farm. Subscribe, give us comments, message. You can contact us if you need any consultant. It's for free. Thank you very much. So after drying, you just put it inside the sack. You are good to go. Thank you very much.